Despite those stifling heat and temperatures, the city's public pools remain closed for at least two more weeks. And with the lifeguard shortage trending in the wrong direction, that's if we're lucky. Right. CBS 2's Marissa Parr joining us now from Montrose Beach, where there are lifeguards. Thank goodness. Yeah, even with the lifeguard shortage, thankfully the city has been able to staff the beaches just enough to keep those open. In fact, you can probably make out a number of people getting a head start on enjoying the beaches around here along the lakefront. But if you're looking to beat the heat at your local neighborhood public pool, you're out of luck until July 5th, if that. I think that it's really important to have uh, city pools for the kids um, and their families to go to during the summer that um, this city offers that and it's free and it's really great to have. The city was initially hoping to have city pools open by Friday. Then they pushed it back to July 5th, but pools could remain empty for even longer unless the city finds 300 new lifeguards. They've tried everything to bring in new staff, even offering a new $600 signing bonus. The American Lifeguard Association has said, however, this shortage is widespread. It could affect nearly half of all public pools across the country. Over in Aurora, Phillips Park Family Aquatic Center remains closed because of their own staffing issues. They said at this point they have no plans to open their facility at all this season. We spoke to the Chicago Park District, who says they do have enough lifeguards to staff some pools by July 5th. It's just not clear how many. Now we spoke to lakefront growers who told us they hope the city finds a way soon since not everyone can afford to make it to the beach or the lakefront at all. Hot weather, kids not having nothing to do out and about, who knows if that just cr creates a bigger problem. So I hope more people take advantage of the pool of the, of the lake and I hope that they can do something about opening up the pool. And keep in mind that when it comes to staying cool, it's not just a matter of convenience. It can literally be life saving. So something that's important to remember is the city does have their splash pads. They have cooling centers available around the city happening right now. We have the details on that on our website. Just go to CBSChicago.com. Reporting from outside Montrose Beach, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.